Hey, what's going on? This is Michel Baumann. I'm the EMEA Partner Technical Strategy Lead for Microsoft Teams Rooms at Microsoft. And in this short video, I'm going to show you all of the new features for Teams Rooms on Android as part of the March 2023 update to improve meeting join, content sharing, and hybrid collaboration experiences. Let's jump right in. First, you can now join a Teams meeting with an ID and passcode. So users can join a Teams meeting from a Teams room by entering the meeting ID and passcode that you find in the meeting details using the join with meeting ID button on the home screen. Also, users can quickly start an ad hoc meeting in the room with a single tap using the new meet button on the home screen and then invite participants to that new meeting. By the way, with this change, all peer-to-peer -peer calling and group functionalities are now moved under the call application. Next, you can now extend room reservation. So during a meeting, in-room users can extend their existing room reservation when the room is available within the desired time frame. So users can find the option to extend the room reservation in the more menu located at the meeting utility bar. Admins can turn this on or off in the device settings to enable this feature and you need to know that by default this setting is set to off. Also an exciting update around layouts because front row, which you love so much on Windows, is now available on Android. The meeting chat is available on the right panel and in dual screens the list of participants with raised hand are displayed on the left for increased visibility. Also related to the layouts, you will now find meeting chat in gallery, large gallery and in together mode. So to promote inclusion, users can also choose to show the meeting chat on the front of the room display in these three modes using the layout switcher. An admin can disable the show meeting chat setting in the device settings is needed, but by default, chat will be enabled for front row layout and disabled for other layouts. When it comes to content sharing, HDMI connect auto share controls can now be enabled or disabled. So admins can control the automatic sharing of HDMI content in the room with the automatic share to the room display setting in the device setting. A feature that was highly requested is HDMI audio sharing on Teams rooms on Android. And that's now also coming with update one. So in-room users can share PC system sounds when sharing content via HDMI in and out of the meeting. I know many of you are a fan of annotations and now when a participant who's joining from the desktop initiates an annotation session, in-room users can see the annotations made by other meeting participants on top of the shared content. In-room users can also add annotations using a touch display when the permission is set by the presenter that allows other participants to do so. If you are a Teams Premium user, Teams Premium licensed meeting organizers can now safeguard their meetings by enabling watermarks when scheduled meetings from the meeting options. Watermark enabled meetings show the room account applied as a watermark on top of supported shared content and the video participants camera stream to the third weeks. So there you have it, a bunch of exciting stuff now coming to Teams Rooms on Android in the March update. We're gonna start rolling out this update mid-March and it's gonna run all the way through April. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.